Ladies and gentlemen, running back for the Miami Dolphins. 11 touchdowns, six weeks. Only two people have done this since 1970. Raheem Mostert. Yeah, Raheem! Yeah. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Hey, I just mentioned all the stats there quickly, and I'm sure there's many more. And we were all talking about A-Chan, A-Chan, A-Chan. Well, first of all, A-Chan, A-Chan, A-Chan. Then A-Chan, 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 because he had a name change because what he was doing. And you just quietly were just racking up tuds. That's all you were doing, 11 through 16. Six weeks, and that's kind of a bigger picture I'd like to talk about. Your offense has so many weapons. Okay, we got Tyree Kill, obviously, who we've all learned to absolutely love off the field and on the field. Waddle's doing his thing. A Chan came in. Two was doing his thing. Tight end was there. You were there. How has everybody been able to maintain like this humility of like we don't care who gets the spotlight and we're just here to dominate, folks? What is it about behind the scenes with your team that has kind of kept everything quiet and no bullshit that could come from a lot of personalities in one building? Well, you know, in retrospect, you know, everybody is is for the team. I think that that's the biggest thing, especially on the offensive side of the ball. You know, we got a whole bunch of playmakers that can get the job done um, at any moment. And as you can tell, we're just flying. We're just flying through. So um, everybody understands the severity of, of each position. And we just go out there on a day-to-day -day basis, man, and just try to put our best foot forward. We see McDaniel rocking the sweet off-white Air Forces, you know, on game day. And yeah. uh, the pulled-up sweats. And we see him race a cameraman at halftime when he's playing against New England. He seems to be one of the coolest dudes of all time. How is he as a leader? Is what you see what you get? Or does he change it up a little bit for team meetings and other things like that? No, what you see is what you get. He's, uh, he's, he's very consistent. I mean, you know, my part with him in, in San Francisco, you know, he, he, when he was a run game coordinator and, and potential, you know, uh, offensive coordinator, man, he's always had this level head of wanting to be great, wanting guys around him to be great and wanting the players to be great. And he's taking that role, you know, times 10 in, in the head coaching job. So um, for him, he's all about consistency and he's been able to be consistent as a, a head coach and as a leader and play caller, you know, this, this guy is just truly something remarkable. Yeah, it feels like the plays are being called, just everybody's trying to copy, but they're not able to mm -hmm. fully figure it out. What is it about this offense you think that makes it so successful? And are there some plays that you all know are a guaranteed touchdown as it's being called in the huddle? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think that one of the biggest things is our speed. We got a whole bunch of guys that are fast, um, you know, myself included, Tyree, Waddle, what? Um, what? A Chain. You know, it's, it's a whole bunch of us. I mean, we we just we just know how to separate. I mean, even with Braxton, Braxton comes in and he's he's also a guy that you know has been slept on for quite some time in the league, and he's been able to do his due diligence. So. Um, yeah, we just we just have a whole bunch of guys that can get the job done, like I mentioned, and we just rolling fast, man. And obviously, the speed is a big factor. You know, I, I see college guys now trying to run a certain motion that we call, um, you know, in in these plays and jumping off sides, and and guys in the league are trying to you know mimic the same plays. I mean, this league now is just a copycat league. So, you know, we're, we're just trying to we're just trying to put something out there that's a, a winning product. Let's talk about those motions, because I think what you're talking about is the right before snap motion that kind of just <laughs> makes everybody lose their mind. I don't think people respect how much work goes into that. Like you guys have to practice that on a very regular basis, I assume. But you understand yeah. how much of a weapon it is. And how does McDaniel kind of implement that? It's all about separation. Um, we're able to utilize the speed to to max, and um, the motion man is 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 something that hasn't been done ever in the league, you know. And we're taking full advantage of it. And we got the characters, the the guys that do it. So, uh, I'd say. I would say, yeah. yeah. It feels uh, like yeah. it's working out. Uh, last question for me before the boys have some. Tua mm -hmm. this year, and we talked about his jujitsu, and we have eagerly awaited the time where a defensive end comes around, he throws the ball, then he grabs his arm, mm -hmm. puts him in an arm bar, mm -hmm. and breaks that <laughs> shit in the middle. Like, that's what we're hoping for. In December football, when it really yeah, matters, that's we hope Tua busts that out. But what have you seen from – I feel like we've seen a lot more of Tua's personality this year, uh, publicly at least. I don't know about behind closed doors. Yeah. What have you seen him take another step in this year, both as a leader and the face of your franchise? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's going into year two in the offense. Um, he hasn't been able to do that, you know, since he's entered the league. And I think that that's a, a big, you know, turnover for him. Um, and he's always had that leader leadership mentality. I mean, last year, you know, for me working with him for the first time, um, I could tell that he was poised to be a great leader. Um, you know, he speaks 
very well. He uh, he wants the best out of the guys in the room, the guy, you know, the guys around him. And he's he's very selfless. You know, he's a selfless type of guy, and um, he he wants the best. Like I said, and and you know, with this year, he's just taking these leaps and bounds that are just you know remarkable. If you see what he's doing, I mean, he's he's breaking all kinds of records. Um, you know, he he's holding himself, himself to a higher standard, and I I think that's what you need in a quarterback. Yeah, he's been. Because last year we saw a little bit of it when they were talking about yeah. his deep ball ability, and in the press conference he was like, "Did you see the? Remember he? Yeah, and he's, he's he's talking his talk too. He's letting he's letting it be known that hey, you know, you you trying to count me out on my deep ball? I'm look look what I'm doing. Yeah, I love he's it. Doing, he's doing it quietly. So I loved it, Raheem, because like before that. We didn't hear anything from him. He almost, like, didn't talk. And the way the Dolphins had treated him, this is old days, Gumpy. I'm not talking about now. Mm -hmm. But that first (laughs) year for Tua in the NFL with the Dolphins was not, like, a fun experience, I don't think. He was super quiet. To see that he's got his confidence still and almost, like, his swagger and then what what you guys were able to do, it's, like, it's a beautiful thing about not giving up on a quarterback too quick. Ty has a question for you about that point. Yeah, Raheem, a lot of people are saying you guys are the greatest show on turf, like, times 10, and a lot of people remember how good those St. Louis Rams teams are obviously when you're scoring 70 points against the Broncos and just putting up a bunch of points every week it's probably you know I mean it's just week after week for you guys but how aware of like your historical greatness on offense is the entire offense I mean you know we we try not to put ourselves in that category we we feel like we're in our own category um but all in all you know we're just trying to go out there and just trying to make you know the the best of the situation um, and of course, you know, that comes with a lot of scoring. Um, and, and I was talking to uh, Eric Stoosville, um, my running backs coach, uh, you know, Sunday. And I was like, hey, because, you know, he witnessed a whole bunch of games and he was, you know, he witnessed that 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 team, you know, St. Louis Rams when they're the, the best show on turf. And um, I asked him, I said, hey, look, how, how do you feel about us being the best show on turf? And he was like, we ain't on turf anymore and this is probably the fastest team i've ever been a part of and i've ever witnessed um in all of football so um to even be you know recognized in that category with a a great team like that 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 rams team i mean it's just it's remarkable but you know you do have to keep that level head and you have to keep pressing on and and each week brings a challenge you know this week especially we're going to go against philly which is an unbelievable you know group of guys over there you know i i I see what they're doing on on both sides of the ball. I mean, even even on special teams, you know, um, I I just they're they're just flying, and um, it's going to be a challenge for us. But you know, if we can control, what we control. I mean, nobody can really beat us. Hey, can we talk about that though? Like, you guys hang seventy on a team, and everybody just is like, uh, yeah, it's the greatest offense of all time. But like, every week in the NFL, you're playing against somebody. You know, like mm-hmm. there's great teams every single week. How do you yeah. guys maintain the thought of like we we're not maybe we don't hang fifty today or forty today? Is that yeah. like uh, is there messaging on the wall like yeah uh, maybe not this week though? And then how do you all remind each other like we need to keep going because it's only week six? It's only week six. Yeah. you know what I mean, Ryan? No, I mean that's a, that's a good question. You know, I I think that the biggest thing that we try to focus on is what we can do. You know, we're not worried about how many points we're going to put up. We know that we're gonna we're gonna be impactful in the game. And you know, this this past week, I mean, we we played against Carolina and they were up fourteen zero within like the first like you know eight minutes of the game, and we were like, uh oh, hey, we need to we need to tighten up now. Uh, it's not like us. You know, we had our first three and out in the first quarter. Uh, of the season and and you know we didn't we didn't put our heads down we weren't like oh man this game's already over with now we were like look this is gonna be an even a better challenge for us when we come back and 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 do what we got to do you know so we don't necessarily look at you know oh hey we're gonna put up you know 60 points this week and 20 points to 30 points we're just like Whenever we get that opportunity, <laughs> you better watch out. Yeah, it took you guys two drives, by the way, to come back for that. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and that was yeah, all yeah. she wrote. Yeah, yeah, I hit turn quick after that whole thing. Yeah. The speed, Tone has a question for you. Yeah, Raheem, a lot's been talked about the speed on your team. I, I believe you, Tyreek, A-Chain, and Waddle have all been clocked at 23 miles an hour on the field, which is absurd. Have you guys had a chance, all four of you, to line up and race? Or is there been any talks about that, creating a four-by-one team for the Olympics? What what are we doing over there? 
Yeah, I mean, we, we, we talk all the time. We always joke about it, our, each other's speed. And, you know, I tell them, everybody, I'm the fastest in the room. I'm the fastest on the group in the group. And, you know, if you ask everybody else, they'll tell them that they're the fastest. But all in all, you know, we, we do feel like we have the fastest. We know that we have the fastest team in the NFL. And if anybody else wants to compete with us in the 4 by one you know, we'll, we'll take that challenge full on. We're just trying to figure out who's going to lead what leg, you know. Um, I told I told the guys that I'm either a first leg or – last leg and and reek is like i'll do i'll take second Jalen's like hey i'll 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 take the second leg and <laughs> devon's like hey i'll take any leg so <laughs> it's really a toss-up man honestly and and yeah it, it's fun man. it's, it's definitely a, a fun experience i think i've heard that you guys raced in the otas is that true do you guys race i missed that race i missed that race oh what happened yeah. okay so ot because this is standard operating procedure for workouts conditioning afterwards two guys talking shit to each other okay Okay, let's race. I would assume down there, this is something that every human that's been there has been the one that has won the race yeah. all the time. So you guys had a race, you weren't there. How'd we miss it? When do we do another one? We all we're familiar. I guess the the receivers had something going on with you know running starts or like you know they try to get out of their breaks or whatever, and something happened between Jalen and and Tyreek. I don't. I don't know the specifics all that well, um, and I I can't you know give you any insight, but um, let's just say it was a good race. <laughs> Hold on though. Hold on though, because Tyreek, I mean I don't want to say a guy hawked him last week. Oh, yeah. You heard what he, he said the other week though. He he did mention how he was washed up. So I mean. It, you could say that about me too, because I I didn't. Yeah, but Raheem, just play the only reason week. why I think we all just assume Tyreek is the fastest is because like he was calling out Usain Bolt. Yeah, do you remember that? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. he, he was calling out. <laughs> he was calling out Usain Bolt. It wasn't like other NFL guys. It was like, yeah. hey, the guy that is known for just being the fastest human on earth would love to see. You know, would love to yeah. see how this goes. And I think we've seen him do some track. You were an accomplished track guy, I assume. Yeah, I was at Purdue, um, four-time Big Ten champ. So, oh, well, they got speed in the Big Ten too. That's right, a lot of it. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. People, hey, people aren't talking about speed it. Speed in bunches. People aren't talking about it. All right. Well, we appreciate yeah. you joining us. Congrats on the hell of a start to the season. Uh, I can't wait that. to watch you guys the rest of the way. And when you set up that race, there has to be money to be made in that. You know what I mean? There has to. That's I, a, well, I mean, we'll see. But you know, it, it's all about bragging rights, right? That's that's what you want at the end of the day. Is all about the bragging rights and um, and yeah. a good. A nice little, a nice little well, donation to the foundation. So <laughs> if we can get that going, then I, I'm more than welcome. I want to be in that race for sure. Yeah, consider it done. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what yeah. number it is, but we can find it. We appreciate the hell <laughs> yeah. out of you, ladies and gentlemen. Raheem Moster. Yeah. Yeah.